Hey you guys, uh, I just wanted to share something that would be really helpful for us to be doing with uh, the x-rays. Um, and a lot of times I ask uh, the assistants or the hygienists to do this, but uh, there's always a situation where it hasn't been done. So if you see it, um, to you know, take it upon yourself, you can, you can get this done as well. Um, but this is a patient who on uh, January 17th, I had placed an implant um, and we took some x-rays during that time. But you can see here, they were just kind of our standard template for a bite wing and PA. And um, so what's helpful is to have this labeled so that we're not, if we have to reference it later, it, we're not uh, going through a bunch of different radiographs to try to find the, this exact tooth. So um, what, all that needs to be done is you double click it um, and you go up to the upper left and under edit exam, um, you write, write notes and that is where uh, it's labeled right wing and PA. So I'm just going to correct that. And um, make it um, number four. And here I have to do this with one hand, so hang on. Number four. And I'll just put infant placements. <laughs> Sorry. And there is a. Um, <laughs> You guys get the idea here. There is a, um, and it, you know, it doesn't have to be exact, but there's a limit on how much uh, we can put. So there we go, number four implant placement. And then you just have to save the changes. And then um, when you go back to the patients, then that's what we see. And that's helpful for future reference and um, you know when we're sharing patients and such it's just makes everything a lot more efficient so thank you for your help on that bye bye